look what I did. So I totes just <laughs> went and dyed my hair. Um, yeah. I love it. I love it. Look. Anyways, um, I dyed it. I decided Friday I'm gonna dye my hair. Saturday I did it. <laughs> it happened. I didn't tell anyone. Well, I told like a couple of friends. And yeah, surprised most people. And when I first got it done, basically, I'll go through the whole story and everything. But when I first did it, she blow dried it. My hair just blow dried it like straight. It looks straightened. You know, you have that the round brushes, and then they blow dry like this. Shh, and they turn the brush of your hair, and my hair looked straight. And it proper reminded me of my relaxed days. So kind of, I had like a mixed feeling about it. But then when I got home, I started playing with it. I used to see the curls, and I fell in love. But anyways. Let me take you through the story. Put my button. Told I wanted the ombre effect, you know, just the ends done. So what she did, she parted my hair like this. Let me try and do it. Into four, so it was in half. And then like this. In four sections. And she tied it. And then she dyed the ends. Just showing my point. <laughs> but yeah, um, so I, before that happened actually, I had to go through the colour book and decide my colour and I had a choice between two colours so I took a picture of them but one of them was this colour and another one was like a darker brown colour and I went through she's like um so you want to go for the copper one you know it's a lot louder are you sure you you want to do it like it's a lot more out there and I was like you know what let's do this I don't really care so that's what happened um she separated my hair and then um she told me that I'm gonna have to use a lot more peroxides when I, if I go for this colour because obviously it's a lot brighter and my hair has to, the hair colour of my hair has to lift or something. Really, personally, I don't really care. I wasn't like, because I spoke to my auntie after, she was like, you know, does she use shame moisture? Does she do this, 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 this? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care too much about what she was using in my hair because I've got to that point where, for me, it's not about length and all that stuff. It's just about how it looks and, um, I don't know if you guys, I shaped it, I don't know if you can even tell, but like last week I went to the hairdresser and I got it shaped, it was really subtle, so literally just to cut it like that. I was going to make a video on it, but it wasn't much of a difference, so this, this time with hairdressers, it was a lot more of a difference. And anyways, um, yeah, so I just know that if it did get damaged, it's just the end, I can cut the ends, you know, I've been thinking about BC and like it's crossed my mind a few times, what would happen? I don't mind big chopping, like it, to me right now, my length isn't much of an issue. It's just having fun with my hair and experimenting, basically. And um, yeah, as I was saying, she was doing two clients' hair. So it was a lot of waiting around, really. And she's the hairdresser that I used to go to when my hair was relaxed. I went to her for about three years. Like the first time I cut my hair and relaxed it, I was a different hairdresser. Then I found her. And she did my hair from prom, which was what, I was 16 prom, all the way up until October 2011, that was my last relaxer. So she was used to do my hair cuts, my styles and all that stuff, but I just trusted her wholeheartedly, should I say, like, because she kind of knew the kind of things that I liked. So I went back to her after like three whole years of not seeing her. And you know, she just spoke about my hair journey and how she sees how I'm promoting it hard and that. She's proud of how, how far I've gotten with my hair because obviously I'm taking care of it myself. And she's talking about how she's like, I bet all the people, yeah, were like, you can only go natural because your hair's a certain type in it. How people always say that they can't go natural because their hair's too thick and da da da, but only I can go natural. And it's so true because so many people are always like, yeah, but I don't. You can go natural because your hair's soft. You can go natural because your hair's nice. And I'm just like, I, have to, I distance myself from those conversations nowadays. I'm like, you know what? Think what you want. I don't care. The, the amount of interesting conversations I've had about natural hair, I've heard the most shocking things from people's mouths lately, and I'm not even going to go into it. Let me know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I sidetracked so much. So she separated it, and then she mixed the colours, 
So I don't believe she dyed, she bleached it first. She mixed the colours and then she put it on the ends. And then I sat there with my hair dying for it. She said 45 minutes she did it. So I sat there with my hair dying and she checked it. Added a bit more because the colour wasn't lifted enough. And then after a while she washed it out. And then she added more again for another 45 minutes. So that it was the colour that we wanted it to be. And then um, yeah, that was done. Washed it out, da 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 da. Put stuff in my hair, blow dried it. And yeah, that was the process. It took ages because of the fact that I was waiting so much. But it was pretty simple. First time actually going to the hairdresser to get my hair dyed and trimmed. She also trimmed it, but obviously you can't really tell much of the difference. And yeah, I really love it when it's in its twist outs when it's out like this. Because, you know, I can have it like this and it's like pow pow pow. And I'm in love. I don't like it in a straight. I'll show you a picture when it was straightened. But yeah, um, that's basically my experience. I don't know if I've forgotten anything. But tell me what you think, guys. It's a quick video, I hope. She did tell me one thing, that it will be really dry, like the dye will dry out my hair. So I'm making sure that I make sure that my ends are moisturised all the time. I'm focusing on my ends a lot more, I'm going to have to do a lot more deep conditions and stuff like that. Just making sure that I keep my hair moisturised because, especially because it's now getting colder, um, my hair's going to be a lot drier. I've gone back to my roots, like what I originally did, what I, usually, what I originally used when I first started. And it's this shea butter and it's just basically 100% African shea butter. It's not even, the smell's still there, you know, it's just unrefined, literally. So I use this and I use my extra virgin, co extra virgin olive oil and I also bought this coconut oil which I use on my skin and all that as well my body and my hair and cooking so I'm just trying to keep to the natural stuff basically that's my routine right now I'm trying to stick to everything as close to natural as I can be anything that I can really eat really um I don't know if I'm forgetting anything because I blab and my mind just wanders when I talk any questions, you know, all that jazz down below. I can't really answer questions in terms of health of dyed hair because this is my first time. I mean, apart from dyeing my hair black, this is the first time where I've actually got it professionally done where you can actually tell the difference and, you know, it's actually like, and it's lighter as well. So it has affected my hair's shaft and all that jazz. But yeah, um, that's basically it. I just wanted to come in here and show you my hair. Tell me what you think about it, guys. My dad says I look like a Somali girl because a lot of the Somali girls in London have their hair this colour at the ends with like henna and stuff. But whatever, my brother keeps saying my hair's orange. You know what? Haters gonna hate. <laughs> my hairdresser told me this one thing if nobody's hating on your hair, then it ain't good enough. So, you know what? My hair's good. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, thanks for watching and all that. And I'll see you next time.